multiplexing display using timer interrupt. This is the three digit multiplexing display circuit. The multiplexing transistors control which digit of the three digit display will turn on. The first transistor turns on the first digit. The second transistor turns on the second digit. The third transistor turns on the third digit. The cycle is repeated. We will use the timer and timer interrupt to perform the multiplexing timing. When the timer interrupts, the program will prepare for the next digit for display. Let's look at the program. Timer zero interrupt is set up. Call this function to initialize timer zero. The timer counter is loaded with a value, which will determine when the timer will interrupt. Loading it with 64 hex will cause the timer to overflow or interrupt in 10 millisecond. The timer overflow flag is clear to zero. This instruction starts the timer. When the timer overflow, the overflow flag will be set, causing a timer interrupt. The timer service routine will then be executed. The timer is reloaded with 64 hex to make it overflow in the next 10 millisecond. A variable called DP digit is globally set to 1. This variable is used to determine which digit to turn on. When the timer first interrupt, the value of DP digit is 1. Therefore, the case 1 of the switch operation will be executed. Another global variable, DP num, is used to determine what to display on the three digit. It is initialized to 456. This instruction extracts the digit 4 from DP num. This instruction turns on the MUX1 transistor. The first digit of the three digit display turns on. This instruction sends the data 4 to the BCD to 7 segment decoder. 4 is displayed on the first digit. DP digit was 1. It is incremented to 2. The purpose is to keep track of the next digit to be displayed. If its value is greater than 3, it will be reset to 1. 4 is currently displayed on the first digit. 10 millisecond later, the timer interrupts again. The timer interrupt service routine runs again. DP digit is 2. Therefore, case 2 will be executed. DP num is still 456. This instruction extracts 5 from DP num. This instruction drives the second MUX transistor. This instruction sends the data 5 to the decoder. 5 is displayed on the second digit of the three digit display. DP digit is incremented to 3. The purpose is to indicate that the next digit to be displayed is the third digit. Again, if DP digit exceeds 3, it will be reset to 1. 10 millisecond later, the timer interrupts again. DP digit is 3. Case 3 will be executed. This instruction extracts 6 from DP num. This instruction drives the third MUX transistor. This instruction sends the data 6 to the decoder. 6 is displayed on the third digit of the three digit display. DP digit is currently 3. It will be incremented to 4. This instruction 
sets it to 1 again, to indicate that, the next digit to be displayed, is the first digit again. The timer provides the timing for the multiplexing operation.